Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> All right. Didn't have a clue either. Never knew about this. But yeah. of course, you guys are here to educate us and um, yeah. happily being educated. Well, the funny thing is, actually, I think I did know. The thing is... I didn't. Yeah, I knew like nine months ago. Because when you know? we first discovered Moira, did you? someone said, I Probably. remember that. But I, I forgot what I didn't know is that in the same one as Morissette. They're in the same season. Holy shit. Same freaking set of... So, Anyways. Anyway, she 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 rolled up with her guitar, no band, no backing track, and uh, yeah. At that point, it was Moy de la Torre. Moy. Interesting. Go on. Moy de la Torre. Moy. Singing Hallelujah by uh, Hallelujah the Shrek song. Yes, but oh. it's not Shrek. I know, I know. It's uh, yeah. Go on. Who who I is don't it? Know, I don't know. Jeff Buckley. Jeff Buckley. Jeff Buckley. Jeff. <laughs> it is. <laughs> My name is Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Go on. I think she's probably that that's perhaps the best intro she could have come up with because I think given her style of oh, softness yes she needs comfort like crazy and it's it's really crazy though because it, given given the way that she's how she sings it's you you need to be really grounded and this is the least grounded you'll ever be especially yeah. given the fact that this is perhaps the break of you yeah, or yeah, the yeah. make of you in the industry but so then, it's a perhaps if she a, if she thinks in her head like i get through this intro sorry to interrupt if she gets through this intro mm. you know and there's claps and it goes okay <sighs> okay well, i can kind of go easy a bit. the whole point of this blind auditions is that somebody turns around so i think the whole process is if somebody turns around when somebody turns that's around when that's relaxed. when you can actually ease into the piece but, I don't think but what if would... nobody does and then you're the whole <clears> piece you're worried about that but I don't, I don't think anyone would turn around after that intro well no one did but i think it, it's more mentally for her okay so like milestone type of yeah thing. it's like okay you've done that and that's somewhat difficult as an intro and i am nervous and i don't have much grounding going mm -hmm. on here now I've become a, a tiny bit more grounded. Well, it, she found herself really quickly, Early on, really, yeah. really quickly. The beginning quickly. was obviously like first two seconds, maybe a bit iffy, nerves. No, but, but then... it's it's because I think she didn't know where she was supposed. Like you know when you're listen to yourself amplified and you don't know what you're supposed to sound like. Yeah, yeah. It's like that that amplification sometimes is so bizarre. Wow, we've never mentioned that in these auditions. None of these guys know what they're sounding like. No, that's true. Like, they probably hear when they get to do this in front of yeah, their... Yeah, they, they have a rough idea because of their ears. But that's it. Well, I don't think they have any ears. No, 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 they don't. And I've never seen the monitors close to them anyways. That's actually so true. Yeah, so they're, they're the fucking blind. They're blind. You know? They're the blind or ones death. here. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Bamboo's Hallelujah. What the fuck? I don't think it's, really? it's Jeff Buckley's Hallelujah. Oh boy. I think it's Bamboo's Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Bamboo. Or River Maya. Oh, okay. It's, uh, no, it's Bamboo's. Mm. Oh boy. I think... Can you play it? Uh, of course not. I think it is. I think it is, but do you know she how she changes things yeah, yeah. her own way? <laughs> she did it like she makes it, yeah. So I, th but I think it is. Might be. It probably is, right? It is. Mm. I wonder who was her coach then. Yeah, I literally, see. cannot pick someone. No, I don't know. Go. Cool. <laughs> wow, that's 
you are the fuck, you know, that cameraman knows how to play with your heart. <laughs> it's like, um, if she doesn't win, you still have this cute sit reaction. No, it's like, uh, if you don't win, you're going to make that little one cry. If nobody turns around, this person is going to be very disappointed. It's funny, though, because now we know what the, you know, the, what, what the story is. We know the resolution. Yeah. But... But fuck, at that moment, you have no idea. <laughs> Who won that bloody season? Who won that season? That was know. highly competitive. That was crazy. That was a very successful show. I thought it was a very successful season. In, in terms of talent. Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, very impressive. Very well settled, um, established artist today from, from that show. That and may is I say, really bizarre. That's usually not how it rolls out. Yeah, I don't think so. Not ever, anywhere. I have friends that have won this contest. And uh, that's not like that's not the way it rolls. Um, it also, I think, it's also very individualistic. I think it's obviously an individual journey, and, and oh, we've discussed this before, you know. And it's like, it also takes a special person after the show to mm-hmm. then continue. It also takes a, to some extent, a business savvy person. It also takes someone with the right team. It, there's so many stuff. Their stars have to align outside of the show now. Yeah, you know, so many things can go. But anyways, it, it's a very peculiar show that well, that one season one because mm. some of the biggest stars out of the Philippines at the moment. It seems they have come out. I also the read online, thanks to you, that Dave Lamar was in the same season. Dave Lamar, really? Yeah. What the hell? I know. It is just like, it's just full of like wow, wonderful dude. people. Go on. Anyway, um, I also wanted to say, can you imagine? Can you imagine what it must be like as a judge to have your song sang to you in a completely different way? Yeah. I don't know. How, how weird would that be? That's risky as hell. Isn't that, isn't that strange? Go on. That's when I turn around. That's me turning around. That that right there was me turning around. Go on, go on. Very intrigued, eh? Do it, do it. So nice. he turns. Oh my god, that was such a close call as well. Clutch. Like yeah. it was like right at the end. Like nobody's gonna. Everybody was excited. Why, why wasn't nobody turning around? That know. is that is an interesting one. So the oh. the way I've read the comments, right? And one of the comments that stood out was like uh, it said they can turn around as many times as they as they want, uh-huh. as long as they have their uh, teams filled up. Once they have their teams filled up, they can't turn around anymore. That's what I mean. So how many how many turns arounds are they? But I think that's they decide. I think. Ah. It's a good question. I don't know. Mm. I am reading I, I all the comments out because it's very in- interesting. I understood that part, like for, right from the beginning. I know that, but you have a certain amount of people, and you can just turn around to whoever you like. Yeah, but that is very interesting, right? That Apple turned around for someone like Moda. Also, you're seeing this sort of evolution, right, of Moda. There she was. So she was obviously a. Apple's team then. Yeah, yeah, of course. But that is there you, nuts. you're seeing kind of like uh, That's really crazy. the evolution of Moda where it's like um, in this audition, there's a kind of like a, a point to prove. And if you see the latest sort of Moda, which is like, I mean, it's an unfair comparison oh, because 100%. if you compare yourself from eight years in the future. Um, but the, the, the point of his music is not to make a point, but to tell an emotional story mm-hmm. and to take you on a journey. That actually doesn't sell well in an audition in you know, a contest show. Oh, yeah, so she had to kind of adapt here yeah. to become a bit more of an acoustic singer songwriter with a passion and full of a, a, a inflection of emotions, mm-hmm. rather than take you on a on an emotional journey that has different paces and different yeah, uh, story ups telling. and downs. Instead of telling you a story, because you only have what is it? You said a minute and a half, maybe sometimes. Yeah. So. It was it was really cool though. Is that it, for example seeing performances like these, uh, you see her adaptability uh, uh, abilities, and and you can also see them now in in the way that she composes and makes music, uh, because she has a lot of of um, pop songs that are relatable that everybody listens to, right? And especially her collaborations, you see how easily adaptable she is, how how open to change and, and adjust and 
and uh, yeah how malleable malleable Malleable. she can actually be as an artist and that is so difficult because that's such a skill because sometimes a lot of artists get lost in that process right they get lost in how flexible one can be but in her case she's able to maintain her sound right from the beginning seeing this eight years ago this first impression to the world of who she was about to become it's it strikes a chord because you still see those very defined uh moira sounds and 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 you know tonalities and and personality all of those elements coming into into the mix and just become they they have become amplified i think i think also something that's probably a a a good lesson to take from this uh it's that you don't have to be perfect at the start of Mm -hmm. your career i think there's a lot of pressure especially at the beginning for musicians and singers especially singers i would say um, to be perfect when they are on TV, to be perfect on their first audition, mm-hmm. blind audition, to be perfect. And it doesn't have to be the case. That's right. What you want to show is the fact that there's some evolution and that there's progress. You don't want to be absolutely amazing at the start and then plateau because you don't plateau. You simply go downhill. That's right. Slowly. Um, so you always want to be improving. And I think like, you, you know, we saw more said yesterday and, and that's one of the interesting ones, right? Because it's like, She's already a she was already a, a decent performer there, right? Did she have all sort of like the the technicalities that she possesses now? No, that comes with time and experience. Mm-hmm. But she was good enough to, to give start. herself a chance. Exactly to start, and I think a lot of those uh, stories are the ones that resonate with a, a larger audience rather than the the uh, you know the the perfect one that just kind of seem to stay the same and uh, the 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 story like to see somebody's evolution is always really satisfying i think also as well it's like you know it's happened that in a lot of other shows right where a winner or or so sorry someone who doesn't win Mm -hmm. turns out to be a winner outside of the show that's right in the charts and in, in for for many other reasons for for understanding that sometimes this shows also uh adhere to a criteria right so so you and you have to as an artist you also have to adhere to those criteria, and otherwise you're out and a lot of these times these artists don't fit to these criteria, and then that that doesn't make them any less creative or any less talented it's also very interesting that's a good point because for example like there's a specific type of crowd and demographic that watches this show for i say the Mm. voice or let's say i don't know britain's got talent here in britain um it's not gonna be rap fans Mm. Maybe not. Maybe it's not going to be garage music fans. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's not going to be rock fans. Maybe maybe most likely people who like ballads or pop. Uh, it sounds like more general popular music. Mm-hmm. Um, so you have to, to some extent, because it's all the voting, right? Absolutely. You have to uh, you have to cater to this audience as well. And it may be that your music is not catered to them but, at the start. But you might be the, the rock band that is in the contest. Exactly. So you have to adhere to what the, the, the population will like so you 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 know you adapt but that doesn't make that might not make you the winner of that season but it might make you uh a name in the in the industry already and from there on you can build something and allow yourself to be as creative as you like i always find the shows very peculiar and also watching Mm -hmm. these sort of auditions very uh interesting and thought-provoking and and i fascinating and i hope there is uh, uh, at least you guys enjoy it as much as we're doing and also like some of the conversations that are sparked that are enjoyable for you guys as well. I, I see the comments all the time, especially for these videos, because I, I don't understand much of the show and I'm mm-hmm. understanding more of it now. Um, like what the price is at the end, what the mm-hmm. contracts are like and stuff like that. So that's all super interesting. So do do keep letting us know and, and, and uh, we do try and read every comment. Uh, I do want to say like it's very, very mind blowing, like how far a lot of these artists have gone, Oof. Uh, you know, a lot of like even you know from the kids ones it's incredible. to these guys it's it, incredible it's brilliant so do let us know uh, what you like us to watch next uh, it doesn't just have to be auditions it can be anything else i also love watching like for example some of their first uh, uh, music that they ever released oh, yeah. that's always fun um so yeah some let- of their first live performances things like that anytime back on the time machine let us I love it. anything from the time machine put it on the comments below and we'll check it out goodbye